Now I'm a medical researcher. I'm working in the field of sleep disorders. I have developed my own cure for insomnia, or at least a treatment for insomnia that I believe is going to work. And here's the idea. If you suffer from insomnia, what I'm going to have you do is lay down, read a novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne for 15 minutes, and then try to go to sleep. Because my theory is, what could possibly put you to sleep faster than a novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne? Literary criticism aside, my opinion does not make it true. So, what I have done is I've started an experiment. I've gotten 42 insomniacs. I have them come into the sleep lab and try to go to sleep. And I, with no Hawthorne, they don't get to read a book or anything. And I record the time in minutes that it takes them to fall asleep. That's recorded here in column C1, the no Hawthorne column. The following week, I ask those same 42 insomniacs to come in. And each of them reads... Nathaniel Hawthorne for 15 minutes and then tries to go to sleep and I record the number of minutes that it takes that person to go to sleep. That's in column C2 with Hawthorne. So this is paired data because I've had the same 42 insomniacs come in each time. Row 1 is the same insomniac both times. Row 2 is the same insomniac both times. Sometimes it seems to go up, sometimes it goes down, but overall on average, what's it going to do? Is it going to decrease the amount of time that it took to go to sleep or not? So that's what we're going to test first. Test the claim at 95% confidence that the mean time taken to fall asleep decreases when reading Hawthorne before bed. Just decreases it all. But then after that, we're going to test this claim as well. We're going to want to make sure that it decreases by more than 15 minutes. Because if it makes you go to bed 12 minutes faster, but you spent 15 minutes reading Hawthorne, then it didn't really help you at all, did it? It actually cost you some time. So we'll do each test. First, did it decrease at all? Then did it decrease by at least 15 minutes? All right, so let's start here, we're working at 95% confidence, so we know our significance. And starting with this first one, the mean time taken to fall asleep decreases. So that is a null or an alternative. That's an alternative hypothesis. I don't know why I put an H in alternative. That's not how you spell it. Alternative, that would be pretty exciting. So we're saying that the mean difference is less than 0, that it decreases, that it's a negative number, that it's less than 0 when we do when we do with Hawthorne minus no Hawthorne, right? This is with Hawthorne minus no Hawthorne. All right, and we have um, we uh, oh we also need a null. Sorry. So our null alternative, a uh, null hypothesis, is that the mean difference is equal to zero. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I had my confidence level, and I knew I had my alternative. I knew I was forgetting something. It was the null. OK, so let's take our test. We're going to go up here to stat. And what kind of test are we doing? Well, we have dependent data. This is a paired t test. I am looking for a difference in means. So I'm going to go to paired t. Now, sample one, I'll do with Hawthorne first, because of the way that I've written it. It's decreasing. so. With Hawthorne, mm, sample two, no Hawthorne, because that's the one that came second. My options, I want to work at 95% confidence. I want to look at a difference of zero, and I'm looking at a less than. I'm going to say OK, and OK, and I get a p-value of 0 0.036. So I can see, on average, the difference was 18 minutes, a decrease of 18 minutes. That's great. And the p-value is lower than my significance, so the p is low. The p is low, the null must go. So what does that tell us? That tells us there is sufficient evidence that reading Hawthorne, Hawthorne for 15 minutes does decrease the time it takes to go to sleep in these in insomniacs, we'll say, in insomniacs. There we go. All right, but now let's do the second claim. The question is, does it de decrease it by at least 15 minutes? So I'm going to say stat, basic statistics, and I am looking for, whoops, I skipped right over it, paired T again. This is the same. My samples are the same. My options, the difference is my hypothesized difference is no longer 0. What is it? Well, be careful. You're tempted to say it's 15, but I'm looking for a decrease of 15 minutes. A decrease of 15 minutes. You and I in English don't like to say negative numbers. We like to use negative verbs instead. 
decrease. But in numbers, that means I have a change of negative 15. And now I'm going to say OK and OK. And here, while I do have a decrease that is more than 15 minutes, it is not significantly, I'm sorry, statistically significantly lower than 15 minutes because my p-value is 0 0.380. So the p is high. The null can fly. So while Hawthorne does reduce the time it takes people to go to sleep, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant the claim that reading Hawthorne for 15 minutes decreases the time it takes insomniacs to fall asleep by 15 minutes or more.